Living beings are made up of many molecules, including proteins. These proteins are involved in many functions, such as skin, hair and eyes color, oxygen transport, immune system, or even digestion. But before their proteins, these proteins come from the DNA molecule, and especially the genes it contains. Indeed, this DNA molecule will have to go through three stages. Transcription, splicing, and translation. Don't worry, I'll explain everything. In this video, we're going to talk about transcription and splicing. Let's start with a eukaryotic cell, that is, a cell with a nucleus. The cell consists of a plasma membrane, a cytoplasm, and a nucleus. Inside the nucleus, we can find the DNA molecule. Proteins are produced in the cytoplasm. So how can the DNA molecule in the nucleus allow proteins production outside the nucleus? It is necessary that an intermediate molecule, a messenger, copies the DNA information from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. This intermediate molecule is called RNA. But how do we form this RNA molecule? For that, let's start with our DNA molecule located in the nucleus. One strand of the DNA is called the template strand, which is used as a template for RNA synthesis. The two DNA strands are separated and an enzyme appears, the RNA polymerase. Its role is to make a complementary strand to the template DNA strand. The only difference is that instead of putting thymines in front of adenines, it puts uracils. Finally, we synthesize a premessenger RNA molecule that has only one strand, unlike DNA that has two strands. The stage that moves from DNA to premessenger RNA is called transcription. The premessenger RNA molecule made during transcription is not yet mature to allow proteins production. Indeed, it must first undergo a second stage called splicing. This molecule consists of different parts, introns and exons. Introns are the non-coding parts that are useless in proteins production. Exons are the coding parts that will be useful in proteins production. Thus, the introns will be removed and only the exons will be kept. At the end, we get a mature messenger RNA that will be able to come out of the nucleus to synthesize proteins. This is called translation. This last stage will be explained in the next video. Thanks for watching! I hope this video has given you a better understanding of transcription and splicing. Feel free to share this video and subscribe to my channel. See you next time!